Today we're going to take a look at parabolas and specifically how to find the vertex, the axis of symmetry, and the zeros if you're given an equation in standard form. Okay, let's do it. So let's say you've been given the equation 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 and you are asked to find the vertex, the axis of symmetry, and the zeros. So first let's talk about the vertex. This equation is in standard form, meaning it's in ax squared plus bx plus c form. And when your equation is in standard form, the way to find the vertex is to start with the x-coordinate of it, which is found with the equation negative b over 2a. So if we go ahead and look at our equation and plug in numbers, well, our b is negative 5. So negative b is 5 and our a is 2, so 2a is 4, and so the x-coordinate of our vertex is 5 over 4. Now, to find the y-coordinate of our vertex, we go ahead and we plug our x-coordinate into the equation, and we solve. So there's us plugging our 5 fourths in, and then we use our calculator, or we do it out manually and find out that. That turns into that which then further resolves into that, or if we wanted to put our whole thing in terms of decimals, our vertex is found at 1.25, negative 6.125. Actually, let's take a moment and discuss what a vertex actually is. The vertex in a parabola is the highest or lowest point. It's the place where the parabola changes direction. So in our case, we see that our a the coefficient of our square term is positive. That means our parabola opens up and our vertex is our minimum. So if we wanted to give ourselves a little sketch, we would be over 1.25 down negative 6.125 uh, or something along those lines. And we know that we're going up. Now, the axis of symmetry, first of all, that is a line. So it will always be in the form of x equals something or y equals something. When our parabola is written with the squared term as the x, that means it is opening in the vertical direction and our axis of symmetry will always be in x equals. And if it's the reverse, if our equation has the y squared term, then our parabola is opening on the horizontal in one direction or another, and our axis of symmetry will be a y equals. But in this case, it will be the x equals the x coordinate of our vertex because our axis of symmetry passes right through our vertex and then our parabola opens symmetrically around it. So in this case, the axis of symmetry is x equals 1.25. So after you've done your good work in finding the x-coordinate of your vertex, you have also found your axis of symmetry. You just need to write it in the form of a line, not in the form of a point. Okay, so our final step here is to find the zeros. Well, the zeros of an equation are always what x makes this equation equal zero. And visually, that's where does it pass through the x-axis, right? Um, at what point does it make your y equal zero? And the way to find that is factoring. So I'm going to choose to go ahead and factor using the x method. If this is not familiar to you, take a moment and take a look at this video, but otherwise we're going to continue. So I know that what goes up here is a times c, so that's negative 6. And I know what goes down here is my b, so that's negative 5. And now I'm asking the question, what multiplies to negative 6 but adds to negative 5? So that's going to be a negative 6 and a 1. And now I know that because my x squared term has a coefficient, I'm not done. These are not the zeros. I now have to continue to factor by grouping. And again, if this isn't familiar to you, then go ahead and check out this video. But otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and take my negative 6 and my 1 and know that those are the coefficients, of the two middle terms of my FOIL. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it like this. And so what I've done is I've grabbed my first and my last from my original equation. 
and then I've taken the two answers from my factoring using the x method and those are the coefficients of my outer and inner right I see that when I put those together I get my middle term there and now I'm going to finish up with some quick factoring by grouping so that would look like this and the biggest thing I can factor out of both of these two terms is a 2x and the biggest thing I can factor out of these terms is just a 1 and I see that what's in my parentheses is the same, so I will now factor that out of both terms. And now I have fully factored my original equation, and I'm ready to name those zeros by setting this equal to zero, which means one of my zeros is three, and then by setting this equal to zero and solving, to find that my other zero is negative 0.5, and there I can make a rough plot. So one of my zeros is over three up zero. My other one is negative uh, 0 0.5. And so that's a rough sketch of my parabola. And I've answered all three questions. What's my vertex? What's my axis of symmetry? And what are my zeros? So go ahead and play around with that. Uh, if finding the zeros was confusing, take a look at my videos on factoring using the X method and factoring by grouping. Uh, and consider subscribing to my channel so you know when I put out a new video. And as always, keep on mathing.